dear students today we are going to continue the lesson measurement students in the previous class we have learnt about physical quantities and their units and how to find area of regular objects and irregular objects today we are going to learn the topics volume density and how to find distance between celestial objects now come to the topic volume volume the definition for volume is the amount of space occupied by a three dimensional object is known as its volume i repeat it the amount of space occupied by a three dimensional object is known as its volume the si unit of volume is cubic meter or m power 3 the si unit of volume is cubic meter or m power 3 how to find volume of regularly shaped objects like cube cuboid sphere and cylinder here the dimensions of cube cuboid sphere and cylinder are given and to find volume we have the formula in this column for cube we have the formula side into side into side that is a cube to find volume of a cuboid we have the formula length into breadth into height for sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube for cylinder we have the formula pi r square h students now give an example for cuboid yes your pencil box is a cuboid here i am giving you a sum find volume of a box whose sides are length 25 cm breadth 10 cm and height 5 cm to find volume of this box we have the formula for cuboid that is length into breadth into height so we are multiplying the sides 25 into 10 into 5 so we get the final answer 1250 remember the si unit of volume is cubic meter or m power 3 here we are using centimeter cube why because here the unit is given as centimeter so we are using centimeter cube if meter is given you have to mention meter cube okay children volume of liquids cannot be measured using meter scale as the liquid takes the shape of the container it is measured using milliliters or liters how to find volume of liquids as the liquids having flowing nature liquids take the shape of the container liquids are usually measured using measuring jar or measuring cylinders the capacity of the containers varies from few milli to several liters for example we are measuring medicinal supplements in milliliters and we are measuring oil for the kitchen purpose in liters or milk 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter 1 liter is having the volume 1000 cubic centimeter or centimeter cube for most of the liquids the volume and weight are same for most of the liquids like water kerosene not thick substances like oil honey and all that thing for most of the substance the volume and weight are same 
So, 1 milli is approximately equal to 1 gram. Approximately equal to 1 gram. Then, how to find volume of irregularly shaped objects? Using Archimedes principle or law of displacement, we can calculate volume of irregularly shaped objects. What is displacement? First, take a tub containing water. Mark the initial level of water in the container. Then, add a substance into it. It may be iron ball or a plastic foam. The water get displaced to certain level. From the displaced water, we can calculate the volume of irregularly shaped objects. Students, look at this activity column. Here we are taking a measuring jar and filled it with water. Mark the initial level of water which is 30 here. Mention it as V1. Then tie an irregularly shaped object. Obviously a stone. Tie it with thread and dip inside the jar containing water. The level of water get displaced or raise it to certain level. Mark the level. Here it is 45. Mention it as V2. To find the volume of irregularly shaped object, we have the formula V2 minus V1. V equal to V2 minus V1. Here the V2 is 45, V1 is 30. V2 minus V1, we get the answer 15. 15 milliliters. So the volume of irregularly shaped object is 15 milliliters. Its weight is approximately equal to 15 grams. Density. The definition for density is mass of the substance. Mass means weight. Mass of the substance contained in an unit volume. Unit volume represents 1 cubic meter. I repeat it. Density is defined as the mass of the substance contained in an unit volume. Here we have the formula density D equal to mass by volume. D equal to M by V. The SI unit of density is kilogram per meter cube. In CGS unit, grams per centimeter cube. Here observe the table showing the density of some common substances at room temperature. It may be a gas, liquid or solid. Look at this problem. A copper spear whose mass is 3000 kilometer. Find the volume of the spear. The solution is the density of copper is 8900 kilograms per meter cube this value is taken from this table and we know the formula for density d density equal to mass by volume here we have to find volume we got the values for density and mass hence the formula is Volume equal to mass by density. We are dividing 3000 from 8900. So the final answer is 0 0.34 meter cube. The value of the volume of spear is 0 0.34 meter cube. 
द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन मास डेंसिटी एंड वॉल्यूम इज रेप्रसेड हियर टू फाइंड डेंसिटी वी हेव द फार्मूला मास बै वॉल्यूम टू फाइंड मास ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट वी हेव टू मल्टीप्लाई डेंसिटी विथ वॉल्यूम टू फाइंड वॉल्यूम वी हेव टू डिवेड मास फ्रम द डेंसिटी students up to now we have learnt about volume and density now let us learn how to measure the distance between celestial objects celestial objects means objects which are in the space examples sun moon planets stars etc to measure the distance between celestial objects we have two types of measurement astronomical unit and light year astronomical unit is defined as the average distance between the earth and the sun what is this average distance see this picture the distance between the earth and the sun varies in certain period because earth rotates the sun in elliptical orbit so the distance varies perihelion is the shortest distance and aphelion is the greatest distance between the earth and the sun the values are given here taking the average of these two values we are calculating the astronomical unit so one astronomical unit is equal to 149.6 million kilometer or 1.496 into 10 power 11 meters this astronomical unit is not standard so scientist invented one more measurement which is light year one light year is defined as the distance traveled by the light in vacuum during the period of one year the distance traveled by light in vacuum during the period of one year so one light year is equal to 9.46 into 10 power 15 meters 9.46 into 10 power 15 meters that's all about today's class children the lesson measurement is over assignment for today's class is prepare answers for the questions given here and learn thoroughly thank you